Hey guys, Michael Barlow here just at the July School Holiday Clinic with all the kids. In this segment of the Roving Mic, we're talking about birthdays because we've had a few at the club recently. Dave, Mun Dave Barramundi turned 26 today and Hayden Ballantyne turned 24 on Saturday um, and we celebrated with a good win on Sunday against Sydney. So we're going to go have a chat to a few of the guys about uh, birthdays, birthday parties and birthday presents. Okay, Reese, mate, we're talking about birthdays down on the Roving Mic. We had Hayden Ballantyne's on Saturday. He yep. was lucky enough to take training. That was his birthday present from Harves. Yep. What's the best birthday present you've ever received? I've ever received, so uh, not too many. I've been been a bit, um, yeah, didn't receive too many. Bit naughty. It was my, uh, it's my old man's birthday on Saturday as well, same day as Hayden's, and I flew him across to Sydney. So that's a nice son. Hey, you're a good son, good son. And when's your birthday? Uh, it's been and gone, my birthday, June 23rd. And I'm getting you a present you, soon. You still get um, one? And you have a twin brother, don't you? I do have a twin brother. So when's his birthday? <laughs> June 23rd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when is your birthday? Uh, May the 9th. Recently turned 21? 21, yep. Only young. And what's the best birthday present you've ever received? Best birthday present? Um, Not like Reese Palmer, who was naughty and didn't get any. No, nah, no, nah, I used to ask mum and dad for money. So I could go buy what I wanted. So now, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Yeah, you used to have your ear pierced. Correct. Did you ever get earrings? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a pretty. That's, that's pretty... the worst question you've ever asked. Ever. The, this episode of Roving Mike is actually it's a bit about yourself because the theme is birthdays. And when was your birthday? My birthday was last Saturday, Mick. And you didn't get a present. You didn't get a razor for your birthday. A razor? Nah, I didn't get a razor. Can we get a close up on this mustache he's got going on here? It's pretty filthy, it's but pretty um, gross. yeah, actually Hayden's birthday on Saturday. What did Mark Harvey get, give you for your for your birthday? I yeah. remember he did something for you. He gave me a tip on the horses. He did. And uh, luckily it came through. Lucky for you as well, I think. Yeah. Nick. Oh yeah, yeah, it was not very lucky. I, not that I bet too much. N yeah, not no. that I bet too much. Um, and also when we trained, he let you do something, didn't he? he let yeah. You... I took the uh, training session and it, and it went really well. We did a lot of sprints and <laughs> it was everything was flat out because Hayden doesn't really have a. a oh, he only has a fifth gear. That kid's just hit the deck over there. <laughs> <laughs> this week's. Uh, theme is birthdays. I nearly forgot it. There it is, the birthdays. Yep. Because Hayden Ballantyne's birthday was when? Not sure, but it's uh, David Mundy's today. Yeah, that's correct. But Hayden Ballantyne's was the captain's run of the Sydney Games the day before. And what did Mark Harvey give him for his birthday? Um, not sure. What did he give him? Oh, you let him take the training. Oh, that was Pav. Pav gave it to him, right. Pav so gave him. Ha ha Harv's uh, gave him something else. But uh, Dave Mundy's 26th birthday today. What do you reckon Barry Mitchell got him now, midfield coach? Um, yeah, would have probably got him a highlights tape of himself and would go for a while. Yeah, would and uh, yeah, they love each other those two. So, so Dave Mundy's birthday, you mentioned that. Yeah. What did you get him? I saw you. I went to lunch with you today, and you got Dave a bit of a present. Yep, just got him a little box of snakes. He's got a bit of a sweet tooth, so I thought I'd look after him. But he shared them with the physios, so he's a bit like that. So any any birthday message for Barra? For Barra, obviously happy birthday, Barra, and uh, for for Bella's over there who turned. Uh, 16 the other day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Little boy from Mandra to him. What about the best, best birthday you've ever had? B birthday party, birthday, yeah, birthday party we'll go for. Oh, I reckon it was probably back in the day when we went to uh, Cusa. Back in the day, it was good fun. I remember, I'll tell you a story about one of my birthdays. Here we go. I, I was, uh, <laughs> it was about 10, I reckon, and I had a birthday party, and it was a lucky dip for a present, and I picked out this car, I could see the car I wanted. So I knew where it was, and I like went down, think I'd get it, pulled it out, was the wrong car. Oh. So I cracked the cracked the sads the rest of the day, went and cried, and it wasn't good. Yep. Yeah. So what about um, birthday cakes, and are you a fan of cakes? Yeah, I don't. Has, I, don't what, I don't mind a cake. What's yeah. uh, Barbara Subin cooked up for you? What's the best uh, thing she's I, ever done I, for I you on your birthday? I believe she spent a lot of time making a cake when I was a bit younger. When I was yeah, really young, actually, I might have been five or something. Spent a whole couple of days making a cake. I think it was a Jack in a Box cake. So you were making the whole thing, too, weren't you? I ate most of it, Mick. <laughs> All right, mate. Thanks for joining us again. We'll probably see you next week. Yeah, I'll be back next week. Is that Nike earring? Uh, no earring, mate. I haven't put one in for a long time. Um, and quick one: if you were, could invite any three people to your birthday party, yeah, from the world, who would they be? Bear Grylls, because he's got some pretty sweet tricks. Is that Nick Subin or Bear Grylls? No, nah, Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls. <laughs> uh, who's another one, Mick? Uh, Michael Jordan, that was, that's the obvious one. And Michael Jackson, if he was still around. No girls? Oh. Uh, any three people. It would have to be Billy Connolly, 
just for a few gags, like, and I'd invite you just because you get a few gags too. You can't have too many people throwing gags out. <laughs> and then I'd uh, have to invite someone with some looks, so maybe Jessica Alba. Just, um, just for... We'll go with Michael Jordan. That kid over there, because he's wearing number 40 on his back, and there's not very many of them. Yeah. And um, oh, we'll go with Miranda Kerr. Yeah, right. Um, Is that politically correct? Yeah, no, well, that'll have to do. Rach won't be thrilled, but... Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> chin up, chin up. <laughs> not you. Um, Robert Harvey. Yeah. Jennifer Hawkins. Miranda Kerr. Oh, double date there, you and Harvey. Well, it wouldn't be strangers, because it'd be awkward, so probably you. <laughs> You, Krause, and Ibo. We'll say what about that. Ed? No. Uh, oh, he's the enemy. Ed, we hate him. Yeah, um, so, man, looking forward to the derby this weekend? Yeah, very much so. It should be a good game. And how's your, how's your wallet after the weekend? A bit lighter? <laughs> Are you getting it fined? Yeah, a little bit lighter, but... Um, I'll do the grocery right. shopping this week, then. <laughs> yeah, you can pay for it. <laughs> <laughs>